entrepreneurs, today is a tutorial video on how to create a customer invoice in Wave Accounting. Today, you will learn four steps to create a customer invoice in Wave Accounting. What is customer invoice? What are the information that you need to prepare? How to access customer invoice page? How to save customer invoice in PDF? and how to send the customer invoice to your customer in Wave Accounting or Gmail. Hi there! I'm so happy to see you here today. I'm Sharon from NutsAccounting.com and I help online entrepreneurs to use cloud accounting system like a pro in simple English. At Nuts Accounting, there's weekly tips and tutorials on cloud accounting and online business curated just for you. I have prepared a free guide for you, which is 10 tips on sales invoices page in Wave App Accounting. And you can grab your free copy at nutsaccounting.com forward slash wave sales invoice. I repeat, nutsaccounting.com forward slash wave sales invoice. Just a quick disclaimer, this video is not sponsored by Wave App Accounting in any ways at all. I created this video only based on my personal experience in using Wave App Accounting and I hope that by sharing my knowledge with you, you can use yours better. So first off, what is a customer invoice? A customer invoice is a commercial document which records a transaction of sales to your customer. Step 1 you need to prepare all the information that you need. You need to have your customer name and address. You need to have your delivery name and address. If it is different from your customer name and address, you need to have it as well. And you need to have your customer's purchase order number or reference number or if any other reference number that they have provided. And then you will need to have all the sales details on hand before you create your new invoice. If you are selling goods, you will need to know the item that you are selling, the quantity and the selling price. And if you are selling services, you will need to know the details of the services that you are invoicing them and the selling price. And if you are registered for tax, you need to ask your accountant for the tax code that you need to use in your tax invoices. And if there is any specific tax requirements on your customer invoice layout. Step 2. Wave Accounting New Invoice Page Today, I will show you the first method to, to assess your customer invoice page in Wave Accounting. Method 1 is from your once you have logged into your Wave Accounting on the sales menu bar, click on invoices and then click on create an invoice and then you will be brought to this page of new invoice page. And now I will show you method 2 which is a shortcut to, to reach the same page but in a quite straightforward format. For method 2, on your dashboard, click on create new at the top right part of the page. Click create new and then click on invoice. And now you will be brought to the same page, new invoice page as well. Step 3. Fill in the customer invoice page. In step 3, all you need to do is very simple to fill up all the information required in this page. First of all, you will need to choose your customer. And then um, when you click on here, on this part of the page, you can type in the customer that you want to choose that you are issuing your invoice to. So like for my case, I'm issuing an invoice to Sherlock Holmes. So I'll just click on this customer here and it will load all the information of my customer here. The name of the customer and the address of the customer. And then you will need to fill up the PO number or the sales order number if you have the numbers on hand. If you don't have, it's okay. This is an optional fill for you. And then fill in the invoice date, which is the date of your invoice, and the payment due date. The payment due date, if you have a specific payment term, you can click on this frequently used payment term which is within 30 days, within 15 days or on receipts. So once you click on it, the date will automatically populate in this field. 
Next up, scroll to the middle of the page and fill up the information of all the goods or services that you are invoicing to your customer. So fill up the information here and then fill up the tax details here if you are charging tax to your customer. If you don't, it's okay, just leave it empty. And then check the total if this is correct or not. Check if the subtotal, which is the amounts before tax, and then the tax amount, and also the total amount inclusive of your tax. And the next part, scroll to the bottom of the page, you will have the notes and the footer page uh, and the footer section so you can fill in any additional details that you have whether uh, you want to fill in your bank details here you can also do do that or you can fill in some thank you note to your customer you can fill it either in the notes section or the footer section and step four you need to send this invoice to your customer so once you have filled up all the information in the customer invoice page, next you will need to send this invoice to your customer and let them know that you have invoiced them. So in the send invoice to customer section, all you need to do is scroll down to the bottom of the page and then click on this menu here, save and send. So you will be able to send this invoice to your customer directly from Wave Accounting itself. This pop-up will appear. So all you need to do is now fill in the information here. What is the email address that you are going to send to your customer's email address? And you need to compose your email. And once you are done, click on any of these checkboxes according to your preference. You can send a copy to yourself or you can attach the invoice as a PDF copy, as a PDF file as well. And once you are done, click on preview to preview, to have a look at how your customer will look at this particular email or invoice. So this is how your customer will, oh, this is what your customer will receive when you click on the send button. This is the email that they will receive. So once you have previewed and you are happy with the results, you can go back to this send this invoice page and then click on the send button at the bottom of the page. So once you hit the send, it will now load to this saying that this invoice was sent. So once you are done, you have already sent this invoice to your customer. So now let's look at the email that your customer will receive. I have sent this email to myself so I can show you how the customer uh, will see this in email when they receive it. At the invoice, the customer invoice that you have sent to your customer will be attached to this file as a PDF attachment. Or they can also click on the bottom of the page here, there's a link that says view invoice. Once they click here, they will be able to view the invoice online as well. Now let's go back to the customer invoice page and let's look further at what are the other options that we have to distribute this invoice to our customer. So in the invoice page, you can see here we have already sent this invoice. You can click on this button, get share link. So once you click this, it will pop up this little pop up here, which gives you a particular link that you can send this link over to your customer so that they can view the invoice on this link. So to see how it looks like, click on this preview in new window link here and then click or you can also click copy link to copy the link to your, to your computer and then send it to your customer. So now let's look at how the preview looks like. Okay, this is the preview on the desktop. When your customer view this on the desktop, it will look like this. The top part is the payment option, whether to pay by credit card or a bank payment. And the bottom part is the invoice itself. You can have a look here. They can print it or they can, they can print it here, click the print button, or they can download a PDF copy of this invoice. Okay, so now let's move on to the next one. If you click on more actions, 
and you click on export as PDF, you can export this file into a PDF file on and download it to your computer. So click on download PDF in this pop up here, downloaded this PDF file onto your desktop. So once you have downloaded this, you can click on it and find this file in your download folder. So let's try and open the PDF file and see how it looks like. So this is your invoice in a PDF format, which I have downloaded onto my computer. So if you prefer to, if you prefer to send a compost and email from your normal email software, and then you can attach this PDF to the email and send it to your customer, you can also do that. Or you can directly send it from the Wave accounting itself to your customer or you can send the link that you have copied if you are sending it through a WhatsApp that will be more convenient to copy the link and send it to your customer. And next, go head on over to your invoice, click on more actions and click send by Gmail, Outlook or Yahoo. You can also send your invoice by uh, through Wave Accounting and then through Gmail, Outlook or Yahoo itself. So now let's look at the example that I have prepared for you by sending it through Wave Accounting and then through Gmail. So when you click on this button, when you click on this Send by Gmail, Outlook, Yahoo button, this little pop-up will appear here. So you can choose on which one you prefer or which one that you have the services. So in my example, I'm going to click send with Gmail. So once I click on it, this little Gmail Compose email will pop up here. So all this information, it will automatically pop up for you. You can edit or compose the email according to your preference. So once you are done, just click on the send button and your your invoice will be sent by Gmail from your Wave accounting. So that's those are all the steps that you need to create your customer invoice in Wave app accounting. And don't forget to grab your free copy of Three Secrets to Mastering Wave app accounting for non-accountants at nutsaccounting.com forward slash 30. I repeat nutsaccounting.com forward slash 30. So in today's video, you have learned four steps to create a customer invoice in Wave Accounting. What is customer invoice? What are the information that you need to prepare? How to access customer invoice page? How to save customer invoice in PDF? And how to send the customer invoice to your customer from Wave Accounting or your Gmail as well. So let me know in the comments below. Would you like to use Wave App Accounting like a pro? If you are new to Nuts Accounting, remember to subscribe and click the bell button to receive notifications on future videos. If you like this video, click the like button and share this with your friends. As always, Nuts Accounting is here to help you to master cloud accounting system and grow your business. If you would like to learn more on other cloud accounting systems tutorial or how to grow your business, click or tap on the screen right there to watch the next video. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.